How's it going? Welcome to this tutorial, which is to give you an overview of Glitch. Glitch is a um, very first person shooter, a minimal take on the genre. And this is the current state of it. Um, basically, you've got a menu when you open the, open the game. You can uh, watch some replays or check out your stats here. Um, not completely working properly at the moment, but it'll be shortly. Um, if you've got any friends playing the game, you can invite them from this menu. Um, your usual settings are all here. Um, to play a game, you either need to join or host a game. So this is a list, listen server um, game. So if you're hosting the game, the other player is connecting to you, connecting to your computer on the, over the internet rather than connecting to a third party server. So I'm just going to go ahead and host uh, a game on try QT. So you just select from uh, these ones, or you can use the drop-down. There are more maps in the drop-down, however, the best maps have uh, tabs. The maps in the drop-down um, are sometimes still being worked on. Uh, let me just turn the volume down a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go over some of the basic movement and basic um, weapons at the, right now. So. You run around like normal with your mouse and keys. Um, there is a dodge, so if you if you double tap in a direction, you can dodge uh, in that direction. Or if you want to use your set up a dodge key in the menu, um, the dodge or bounce, um, you can do that uh, as well. So you can use one key to just set it up. This is useful in in combat. It's not very useful for getting around quickly. Um, because normal movement is a bit faster than that. Something you want to get the hang of fairly quickly is the slide. Um, so if you set up a button for sliding, thumb mouse button, then this um, or shift, a lot of people might prefer to use shift, um, this allows you to do a slide. You don't need to hold down the slide button to do a slide, you just need to press the slide button once um, while, while you're in the air, or and then it will start sliding when you hit the ground, or when you're on the ground. It's better probably to do it um, in the air if you're running around getting up some speed. Um, okay, so if you're holding space, so let's say you're auto jumping, um, if you hold space it will just continue to jump in this game and you hit slide, it'll slide, but if you keep holding space, it'll it'll keep auto-jumping when you come out of the slide, when the slide's finished. Alternatively, if you want to exit the slide sooner, you can release, jump, and then press it again, and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll jump out of the slide. If you've been sliding for more than a split second, you'll get a increased jump height than uh, your normal jump. When you come out of the slide, there you go. The next movement thing you may want to know about is step jumping. If you see a step or a ramp and you jump onto it and then hit jump again, not auto jump but you have to hit it, you will get quite a large um, height boost, more than what you would get if you were coming out of the slide. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, let's talk about weapons. Rockets, um, pick up books like this. Um, you can do rocket jumping, otherwise it works pretty much how you'd expect uh, to splash damage. You can also, we've also got rails, which also works as you'd expect, um, for 70 damage. You can shoot a rocket with rails to detonate a combo, inspired by an autonomous. Um, okay, LG is also as you think. If you keep holding LG, it kind of builds up a little bit of power, and uh, it starts off at about 120, 130 or something damage per second. But as you hold down, it slowly increases, so there is an advantage to doing that. As long as you can track people, otherwise it's just wasting your time. Now there's also nails in this game. Nails 
do 50 damage if you hit people directly, but they also pop people up into the air when they run over them. You can use it to actually jump on top of them and get up to some places. If you put two down, you get a bigger boost. You can also get even a much bigger boost on your opponent if you put down a nail and then use LG or rails to detonate it, like so. Um, and that is to kind of destabilize your opponent and, um, and to um, pop them up in the air and LG them like, you know, pop them up in the air and then LG them and the LG will pin them because it pushes them back. Um, armors, you got your red armor, I just took it for 100, yellow armor for 50, and also armor shards for 5. The armors are on a 20 second respawn, and these shards are on a five, uh, 10 second respawn. That was an ammo, that gives you 60 ammo. Ammo is pretty sparse in this game, there's a one type of ammo for all the different uh, weapons. So, this uh, goes for rockets, rails, LG, and nails. That's the large ammo. You've also got smaller ammos. Um, like the smaller shards, they respawn every 10 seconds. I think the ammo is every 30 seconds or 40 seconds, so a bit slower than the um, the uh, <coughs> the other ones. Um, lift jumps are useful. So if you had a lift like this, you can use it to just get up to where it's going, but you can also dodge off it. For, uh, to clear the map laterally, or just jump off it to get a bit of extra vertical health. You can also do rocket jumping off it, and it will add to that. For example, there's a sneaky health up here. The blade kind of came the, um, the red armor. Alright, I might just quickly talk about slide a bit more. So, if you want to slide up to an edge, it's a useful way to clear a jump, which is otherwise a little bit difficult because otherwise, if you're just auto jumping right, it's kind of hard to time this jump correctly, but if you're just running around holding space, which you will be doing because that's how you get some speed, you can slide up to the edge and then do an extra big jump when you can have to slide. Um, for step jumping, here's a useful place to use it. Um, so if I jump and then press jump again on the lip here, I get a, that extra height for that. Um, talk about game types. We got um, Deathmatch has a few, a few maps. Um, TDM has different maps again. Some of these maps are also in Deathmatch. Um, oh wait, sorry, no. All of the TDM maps and all of the dual maps go into Deathmatch. So this is the biggest map list. Um, so it combines dual and TDM. Dual has a few. We've also got Huni mode, which is a dual map. It's a dual game mode, a little bit less intense than uh, normal dual. So every time someone makes a frag, the round restarts and the rules are like tennis. So you get one advantage to a player. If that player wins the advantage point, they win the game. Um, and there's a few maps specifically designed for Huni mode there as well. Um, capture the balls is... Um, a, uh, probably less tested than some of the other ones, but basically it's quite dark in this map, isn't it? Um, less tested, so you get balls and throw them, basically, um, to score. So it's kind of like to capture the flag, except there are two there's only two flags and what you need to do, or two balls, and then you need to get um, both of those balls into your point and prevent the enemy from getting both of the balls into their point. And when they frag you, you will drop your ball and you know, they'll be able to pick it up. So a little bit untested, I can't wait to actually test it out a bit. Um, hopefully it works properly. One thing I did forget to explain was the nailer. Um, I'll just go to a different map. The nailer, um, as well as um, popping you up if you hit it, jump on it, um, can also be used to climb walls. So it doesn't give you as much of a boost as it, as it would if it was in the ground. And it uses quite a bit of ammo, five each time, but uh, it's quite useful to um, to get around. Here's a good place to do 
you the double, the uh, step jump, or double jump, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I get these sneaky things up here. Um, all right, so that's a little overview of the, um, where glitch is at the moment uh, for the new players. Cheers. <laughs>